There's only three out there for me. Errol Spence, Adrian Broner, or Javante Davis. Javante ain't gonna fucking fight me. So, and Errol Spence, well, I'm hoping gonna win his face fucked up again. I said, Spence, he a dog, but I'm gonna whoop that ass. I'm gonna whoop that ass. But first, you're, you're start, starting at 140, right, before you get to 47? I'll go to 147 right now. I don't give a fuck. And fight the winner of Spence Crawford? Uh, I think they're both scared of each other. Uh, and honestly, I think people are all expecting one fight. That fight's gonna suck ass. You re really? That fight gonna suck. Styles make fights on pitch. Yeah, e exactly. Two southpaws. Yeah. It's gonna suck ass. It's gonna be a fucking horrible fight. I'm sorry. I only want, I only want Adrian Browner. Al Spence, he don't want his fans fucked up. Ken Davis don't want the rematch. But Al Spence, he's gonna get fucked up. He's gonna get fucked up. Man, look. <laughs> Why? Yo, listen, I, I really do like Roley, though, man. Like I said, I, and I'm going to continue to like dude because, bro, he is entertaining, bro. But he and he knows how to make headlines, bro. He does. But the thing is, bro, Roley be saying some crazy stuff. I don't. And, and what's crazy is with Roley, see, a lot of these fighters have yes men in their corner. I don't think Roley has yes men. I just think Roley just says that whatever comes to his mind. I don't think Roley. Roley is very impulsive. He don't think about any. He just says whatever comes to his mind and does not think about it. Let's talk about it. Roley, you last fought at 135. All right. You last fought at 135. Why in the world would Errol Spence have any interest in fighting you? Because not only did you last fight at 135, you got knocked the heck out in your last fight by Tank Davis at 135. So what benefits does Errol Spence have from fighting you? That paper, that pay per view would not say. Not I give it to Roley. I give it to Roley. Roley definitely sold the pay per view with Tank. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. Roley was the reason why I was. I mean, I'm a Tank Davis fan, but Roley sold that uh, that 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 fight. Roley sold that fight. We not. I can't sit here and lie about that. But bro, you're not a pay per view star, my guy. Like, that was just against Tank. Like, you had the people interested to see your confidence and all this type of stuff. You had, you, you, you had the people along, but then we saw you get knocked out, and it was like, okay, well, you know, it was this. Now you got to build yourself back up. Not going in the fight with Earl Spence, bro. Earl Spence would dog Roly. I mean, dog walk the heck out of Roly. So, I don't know why he's, like, I, I mean, I know why he's calling for Earl Spence. Roly just wants to be in big events, bro. He wants to be in big events. And I guess him and um him and him and uh Ryan Garcia have this new bromance relationship going on, bro. Because I remember them you I remember them beefing back when Roley sparred Ryan. I mean he was uploading the clips of him rocking the hell out of Ryan and sparring, and now all of a sudden he's saying Ryan will beat Tank Davis. So I guess they have a newfound bromance going on. I don't know. Listen. You can hide, I mean, not hide, but you can you can sit out and say all this. I personally, bro, I think Tank stops Ryan Garcia. Uh, Ryan makes a lot of flaws, has a lot of flaws that he has yet to correct. Um, and it'll, you know, it, it's not, I don't see him correcting him before he gets in there with a Tank Davis. But however, um, Roley, uh, Roley, Roley trying to get an Errol Spence fight, it, it's out of there. I think Roley is moving up to 140. Um, <laughs> good luck with that, uh, cause it's a lot of good fights out. There's a lot of tough fights out there for Roley. At 140, you got um, of course you what? Uh, I don't think he'll fight Tio Fimo, cause they're very close. But you got uh, Jack Catterall, Josh Taylor. You got Regis Progre. You got um, my personal favorite, Gary Antoine Russell. Um, you got um, you have it's a lot. It, it's a lot of big names. At 140, um, a lot of good fighters at 140 that I don't think Roley will get past. Um, I don't see him and Jack Catterall fighting at all. I def I don't see him and Josh Taylor fighting at all. Uh, I don't even see him and Regis Progre fighting. Maybe uh, maybe him and Gary Antoine Russell. I can see them locking horns, but I definitely have Gary Antoine. Get bro. Gary Antoine Russell would dog. I'm telling you right now. Gary Antoine Russell would dog Roley Ramirez, bro. 
or Roly Ramiro, whatever the hell his name is. Uh, Roly would get dogged by Gary Antoine Russell. Um, Gary Antoine Russell is like a Sean Porter, but a little more polished, in my opinion. Um, I, I can see them making that, though. Both fighters are with Al Heyman. Both fighters are with the PBC. I can see that fight happening. Um, not sure if Floyd Mayweather would allow that because I think Roly is still with TMT. But uh, I would like for that's a good little fight. Um, but I, I, I think Roly needs to focus on that. But I don't think I think Roly is just more so focused on being in big big events. He had a great time uh, promoting the fight and being in that big event with Tank Davis. I think Roly and he and then of course he wants ultimately he wants that big paycheck. Uh, and that's and that's great, but listen, Roly, it, it, is, it doesn't work like that. Just because you sold the fight, you you have to win the fight. Now, if you would have won the fight with uh, with uh, with if Tank Davis, then okay, people would probably be interested to see what you have next. I mean, we I'm interested to see you fight next, but on somebody's undercard, not no main event, definitely not in no pay per view. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, you got, you got to, you have, you still have stuff that you got to prove. You haven't really proved anything yet, bro. Um, so, you know, get get back to the drawing board, man. Let me know what you guys think about Roly calling out Errol Spence. Is that's a ridiculous statement? Who would you like to see Roly fight next? But what do I know? Like, comment, and subscribe.